What's new in Evolution X 5.4 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at the new features of Evolution X 5.4 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. In case you want to know how to install this ROM, have a look at the features of 5.3. We do have separate videos for both of those, which can be found in the description of this video. First change you will notice is that the security patch is from February 2021. The kernel they are using is Etude kernel and the build date is from Monday, February 15th. Now in case you want to install a custom kernel on Evolution X for the POCO F1, make sure that your custom kernel supports pixel thermals. Next up, they have fixed the status bar padding. So your padding in the status bar should be better now. And in case you do have any issues, make sure you report it to the developer in the Telegram group linked in the description of this video. Next thing, I know a lot of you are going to ask me that, hey Manchi, this is the unofficial build. When are we going to get the official build? Well, the answer to that is the developer behind Evolution X for the POCO F1 is Lakshay. And this is the same dude who maintains pixel experience for the POCO F1. And as of now, he has no plans to apply for official maintainership for Evo X. But do note, he is building the ROM from official sources so you should not have any issues and you should not have to worry about the fact that the build is an unofficial build next up they have added some new clocks so if you go into settings the evolver and then you go into themes clock style bam here it is here are the clocks which have been added and one of them is named IDE now this clock was initially ported or developed by project 404 team but it does look pretty cool and here it is it might be one of my favorite clocks after having a look at how cool this IDE clock looks even though it is for the nerds but you know I do like it Next thing they have done is they have added a lockdown option. So in case you have a pen or fingerprint setup, you can go into settings, display, and then you will go into lock screen. Here you have a new toggle called show lockdown option. Display power button option that turns off smart lock, biometric unlocking, and notifications on the lock screen. So let us enable this and then we can go to the lock screen, press and hold the power button and bam, here it is. You now have the lockdown option. So this is going to do what it says and we can read it one more time. So here it is. It is going to turn off smart lock, biometric unlocking and notifications on the lock screen. So you will not be able to unlock your device with your fingerprint or say smart lock wherein you have the capability of unlocking your device if a known Bluetooth devices within range all those features will be disabled next new feature which they have added is long screenshot so we are in the settings menu volume down and power here it is tap on scroll and then you can tap on long screenshot there it is it's scrolled down and working like a boss without any issues now before you ask me how do you share your screenshot then well let us take another screenshot and then the share option has been removed. So we'll go into edit and tap on share and that is going to bring up your quick share menu. So now you have to just, you know, you have an additional step to share the screenshots, but I am pretty hopeful that most of you would rather prefer having long screenshot than having to have two clicks to share a screenshot. And that's it. Those were the new changes which they have added. Another thing which I noticed, and I'm not sure whether this is the ROM or it is Pixel Launcher. So let us say I install this application right now. It is going to show up over here as installing. And this is something which I have seen in iOS devices, but first time I'm seeing it on Android. So I thought I would mention it now. I might be absolutely wrong. And you know, it had been existing for ages, but I did not know about it. So those are the new features. Next up, let us have a look at safety net. So my device is not rooted right now. Only installed Magisk Manager to check for safety net. 
try it one more time safety net is success let us open the play store and check for device certification here it is device is certified this means all your banking apps should work without any issues youtube videos picture in picture works live caption works again for youtube picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or make sure you are in specific countries in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium next up we can open the google photos application and check if the portrait light feature is available or not go into adjust and i do not see the option for portrait light let us go back and try to edit this picture one more time wait for this loading animation to finish and adjust portrait light here it is working without any issues and next up let us press and hold on the home screen go into styles and wallpapers you do have the curated culture wallpapers which google did introduce this month and they are working without any issues next thing we can check for is wide wine support so here it is drm info wide wine is l1 let me open prime video and let us watch this movie and let me first skip the advertisement no hd text besides the timeline which means wide wine is broken and by now you should know that you know poco india is getting madder so that is why we are having all these issues next thing we can check for is the recents so here it is recents are pretty smooth pretty fast nothing to report select works without any issues as well screenshot of course we already checked out we now have scrolling screenshots or long screenshot google feed no jitters no lags everything is working absolutely fine let us try switching between a few applications again no issues here either everything works without any issues and before i forget hey google works with the screen turned on as you can see let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake and as you can see hey google works with the screen turned off as well now in terms of face unlock the build does not have ir face unlock and it is only going to get ir face unlock when official evolution x builds for other devices get ir face unlock until then there is not going to be any ir face unlock functionality on this rom so all in all another great build of evolution x the version being 5.4 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you